Hi, my name is Clara Beth. I'm an eighth grader at Broughton Middle School. And today I'm going to be talking about Joshua 2. It's the story of Rahab and how she hid the two Israelite spies in the city of Jericho. So one question I'm going to be discussing is how did Rahab's hospitality inconvenience her? And my first thought when I thought about that was how inconvenience is not really even the right word. It's not, it's not strong enough because Rahab risked her life for these, these spies. Um, she served them by saving their lives and risking her own. And that, of course, is like what Jesus did for us. He gave up his life to save us. Um, and so another interesting part about Rahab's story is how God chose Rahab, and she was a prostitute. He chose her to help these, help these spies. And then after that, of course, the Israelites came in, and they walked around the walls, and the walls came crashing down. They came in and took over the city. Then after that, Rahab ended up marrying an Israelite man, and she became part of the genealogy of Jesus, which is really amazing. So, um, and we see God doing, God doing this kind of thing a lot in the Bible. He chooses those that we don't expect. He chooses the lowly and the sinners and the outcasts, like all the time. So why does he do this? I think one big reason for why he does this is because if he didn't choose those kind of people, if he chose the powerful and mighty and righteous, then who would end up getting credit for all that God does? Well, most likely it would end up being them, wouldn't it? It's like the story in Judges where God tells Gideon to decrease his army like a bunch of times because they're, because they're not the ones who are defeating the Midianites. It was God who was doing that. And when God chooses these sinful and lowly people, it goes to show his glory, not theirs. Um, another interesting point is how Rahab at one point tells the spies about how she and her people have heard about how God parted the Red Sea and did all these amazing miracles for the Israelites. And we see that Rahab really believed in him. She had faith in God, and that was all she had to do for God to choose her. And because of her faith, that was also the reason why she served these spies, why she helped them. Um, so we can serve too. It can be hard now because we're in quarantine, obviously. Um, but we can always find ways to help others, like helping your parents at home. I, I'm sure they'd really appreciate the help. Right, Mom? <laughs> yep. Um, you can write notes to neighbors, and um, if they're going through hard times, you can donate to food banks. Like. There are lots of things you can do to help serve others. But Rahab's story gives us a, a really neat reason as to why we serve others. It shows us that we, we serve others because of our faith and for God's glory.